What up YouTube? Hope y'all doing good. Today the scenery looks a little bit different. That's because I'm in Paris. I'm here with my girlfriend Tonya enjoying a little trip, but I'm also doing a couple of studio sessions. Yesterday I visited the Louvre. I looked at the Mona Lisa and she was looking back at me. But the hotel I'm staying at right here is called Hotel Grand Amour, which means Hotel Big Love. I got big love for you guys, but it kind of inspired me to make and teach you guys how to make some love and smooth type of melodies and beats. For example, for Drake or a title sign or Chris Brown or whatever. So let's dive into my studio and teach you guys how to make these smooth sensual type beats so you can impress your girlfriend or your boyfriend and you can send it to them and be like hey baby I made this for you before we get into the video please follow my Instagram at you to the Z because somebody else know my name and because I just love to communicate and, and, and show a little bit more about myself on my Instagram and if you want to join the real family join my discord to the link in the description down below that's where the real family is at let's get to my first studio so I got my FL Studio right here, I'm on the bed, chilling, and let's make a fire Drake type beat. Wow. So to start out, I'm going to load up FL Keys, put in a nice chord progression, put some reverb on that, and then desample that so we really get this cool old school piano vintage Drake kind of vibe that they were going for. I'm doing this with a free plugin, so you've got no excuses. I just find a nice cool melody, and before we do that, let's set the tempo to like a cool... Uh, so let's... Uh, Tap that. Yeah, 110 would be fired. Ooh, that's a fire first chord. This fire. So now let's uh, make them the correct length. So it's Command L and let's cut off this last chord right here. And what I want to do is make them strum a little bit. So I'm going to, going to use the, uh, what's it called, strumizer or whatever. Uh, so that's Command A and Alt S. I could be Drake. You know what I visited uh. Okay, so what we're gonna do right now is put some reverb on that. Uh, so let's link that to a mixer channel, add Valhalla or whatever reverb you wanna add. And some vinyl. So it's kinda warping. So now I'm going to copy this. So we've got uh, a double length and add some top notes. All right, so we've got these top notes. Let's just all lower the velocity of them because it's really just some accent notes. So let's just go like this. Let's consolidate this track and downsample it. So let's consolidate it from track start Press start, now we've got this track as an audio file. We right click it, open the audio editor, and we right click the sample rate, and we just remove the quality, which will remove information from the sound, which will make it sound really underwater and, and Drake vibey. This is really the, the Drake technique. So let's make it a thousand samples, and press resample, press accept, and now we've got our desample melody. So it sounds like this. Ah. Wow. Hey, hey, my G's. This, this some Drake shit. If this ain't some Drake shit, I, I don't know. But the second thing I want to do is add uh, arcade or some kind of vocal chops and also desample them so it feels like there was a complete vocal in the original sample. So that's what I'm going to do right now. Let's uh, find a cool vocal thing. So the key is D minor. So let's go into arcade. Go into our vocal pack and select D minor as the key. Uh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Ooh. Ooh, this fire, this fire. Uh, uh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Ooh. yeah, exactly. And then just copy that again, like this, and shift. And just make sure I cut out this one at the end. And now let's also just consolidate that one. Start, yes sir. 
So we also have our vocal chops in audio and we're also going to desample that. So right click audio editor, a thousand samples, resample, yes sir, drag it out, remove this one, get this one here. Mmm. Let's just put some reverb on that. I'm, I'm, I'm actually like vibing out to this like crazy. Let's see if we can find a cool uh, little perk loop we can put in the background. Yeah, maybe this one will do. Shout out Simon Savita. So we reduce the volume of this. Just really subtle in the background. Maybe let's even put a vinyl on there. I like the snare, it's special. Yeah, yeah, let's use a different snare on the third one. So let's go like this. And let's use something light and reverby on the third snare. So. Yes, sir, it's fire. Let's boost it a little bit. Sir, let's do something crazy with the head. So, like this, let's just cut it right there. Ooh, that's fire, that's fire, that's fire. Ooh, let's, let's use this. Yes, sir, like that. Even more, even more. It needs to be like this, like this. Ah, fire. Ah, hey, this is too fire, man. I'm having so much fun. Ah, ah, ah. My geez, I really, 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 really hope y'all learned something from this video. I had so much fun. Shout out Simon Savino for your fire drum kit because it's got some unique sounds. I couldn't use it in every single beat, for, but for beats like this, it's like, wow. It, it's got so many unique and fire sounds that I really love to dive into it and, 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 and use this. So, hey, shout out Simon Savino. Shout out everybody that's watching this video. I hope you guys learned something. And, hey, enjoy this beat. I'm going to just play the intro and let it drop after this video. Hope you guys enjoyed this. If you did, please leave a like. Please subscribe to the channel if you haven't already and join our great producer community. We're building here. And follow my Instagram, EduCubeats with Z. Cut somebody else for my name. And join my Discord community. Do the link in the description down below. I love you guys. I'm going to continue enjoying my stay in Paris in Hotel Grand Amour. Big love for you guys. Je t'aime. Grand Amour pour vous. Love you guys. Take care. Thank <laughs> you.